Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I have a new hairdo every time. <laughs> but um, yes, I changed my hair back to blonde. Well, this is my natural color. So my natural hair is like a dirty blonde. Excuse like the line, I just had a shower cap on. It's like dirty blonde, but the salon put like highlights in it and stuff. So it looks more blonde than my natural color. But I figured this would be a good video to make. I just got out of the shower, so I'm gonna be like, doing my nighttime skincare routine. I don't do this every night. I'm only doing it for the purpose of the video because I want you guys to think I have my life together. Anyway, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I try to do this as much as possible, but like sometimes I'm just ready to right after work. So sometimes this skincare routine doesn't come in. I work, shower, sleep. No, work, homework, shower but today I'm gonna to be doing my nighttime. This isn't even gonna be based on my nighttime routine. You're just gonna watch me doing the background, but I'm gonna be talking to you guys about Sparky and all of the cats are gonna be coming in the video. So we're gonna be talking about Sparky today because I know you guys were concerned. Ignore the dogs. They're going nuts out there. <laughs> but, um. I know you guys were concerned about Sparky's well-being, and I'm also concerned about Sparky's well-being. So I wanted to give you guys a week. I think this is a week, right? Did I get him last weekend? Yeah. So this is a week update on how Sparky's been doing. I'm going to tell you guys, like, the routine he's been in and, yeah, everything so far. So you picture the videos and all that stuff. When I first got Sparky, I had given him food, like, three days in a row after I went to the expo. He was fed, but he didn't eat. Left a bowl of vegetables out for him and I tried giving him insects and stuff, but he didn't really take it. So I'm just assuming it's gonna take him a while to get adjusted to his environment. So I just been providing him, you know, fresh vegetables. He, he's old enough to now not have to eat all the time. Like I think they only eat like once or twice a week. He's not really eating right now, but I'm not really concerned about that because that's like every reptile. As soon as they get into a new home, they're a little weird, <laughs> they're stressed out. And um, also, I catch him basking, but only when I come home. Like, he won't come out when people are, like he'll come out sometimes when people are around. He'll only come out when there's like nobody here. So I just let him do his thing. I think he's shy and even like around me sometimes, like he'll let me hold him and he hasn't been like stressed out. Like he doesn't urinate on me or he doesn't like fanatically move. So he's been somewhat tameable. Um, he was already tame before I got him. You could tell like he was held and manhandled before I got him. So the taming is not really an issue either. I'm not really worried about that. But for his skincare, what I've been doing is every day, or I would, I think I skipped a day or two. I didn't do it every day. But I've been soaking him for probably like five to 10 minutes because he doesn't like being in the soaker he doesn't like being in water that long so i don't force him to stick in to stay in water but i try to give him a bath and soak him i don't know when his next shed is i didn't really ask i know this is my fault but i didn't ask the breeder like hey when's the last time you fed him when's the last time he shed i mean assuming he came from a crappy breeder anyway like i'm sure they weren't doing anything right so i just figured i'd start on my own schedule so I've been soaking him. I've been putting coconut oil on him every time I soak him. I put the coconut oil on his rough scales after the bath and then I'll put him right under the basking light. I don't buy the things in the store they have, like the wound healer. I feel like sometimes they don't even work. Like I've bought it before, but not for fits, but like the cats and stuff and it just doesn't really work. So I figured why well, I end up buying the medicine for the reptiles and that not happen either. I've been most successful with coconut oil when it comes to their hard sheds and stuff, but I never really had to use it on fits. If you guys can tell, he actually has like an improvement in his head it looked like it was sort of bloody and crusty it looks like he literally just got into a fight when i bought him his head was very shabby but now it's like a lot smoother his scales on his tail that looked like rust they're not so rusty anymore so i guess it's the combination between the soaking and the coconut oil i don't know what he went through before i got him but he has been having his nice warm baths with coconut oil and it's been working out pretty well I'm not gonna lie I didn't know if it was. It was kind of just like a trial and error. I know some people put coconut oil. Like I didn't just willy nilly put coconut oil on my lizard. 
I looked it up first and made sure it was okay. So a lot of people actually said that they did put coconut oil on the beer dragons, especially with stuck shed and all. I'm just gonna wait for his next shed and hopefully, well, I'm not gonna put coconut oil on him while he's shedding. I'm just gonna do the usual, like, you know, um, I'm doing my face backwards. <laughs> I'm gonna just be giving him a normal bath, how I do with fits. But we're hopefully going to see a difference once he sheds the next time because all of his scales on there right now they're still like a little crusty don't get me wrong i'm not like a miracle worker and the coconut oil didn't just work perfectly out of nowhere but um it definitely like improved the scales and you guys can probably tell i'll put like a couple pictures as well we're just going to see how it goes from there and hopefully after his next shed he's all good and um we don't have to worry about him anymore because i've been really concerned with him and it's kind of scary getting an animal like that because you don't really know what's wrong you don't really know what you can do to help but me i'm like the unofficial vet here so <laughs> i try to fix everything myself but so far sparky has been chilling he's been very good no complaints he's not under attack if you see in the video um lucky was trying to befriend him but I think he's still like a little intimidated by the cats. I mean, not really. Like the cats, they pretty much make it clear to all of my other reptiles and all of the other animals. Like they're just observers. They're not going to touch you. But Lucky, he gets very into the reptiles. Like whenever I take any of them out, Kit Kat will be the one that's kind of like, rear. <laughs> she kind of wants beef. But Lucky, he'll sit around. He'll be nice and calm. You guys saw it in the video really chill so i let him in on the bath time he's just super like he loves to be involved in everything that's pretty much what i've been doing for sparky here so let me know if you guys have any recommendations down below if you're blue tongue skink or even other lizards i'm sure like the same remedies can work for every lizard because they have relatively the same scales and stuff so if you guys have had any issues like this and found some tips or advice that you can give me let me know because he's still in the healing process it's not completely fixed yet but i've been doing this coconut oil and the soaking and it's actually been making a significant improvement compared to what he looked like last time so sparky is almost in good health <laughs> I'm not sure when he's shedding though, but if you guys wanted to know, they said he was a year old. So as of right now, I'm just gonna be like calculating his age from the year. So from the Reptile Expo, then next year, the same date as the Reptile Expo, he's gonna be two years. I don't really know if like he was a year and a couple months or he's like nine months, but um, to my knowledge, he is a year old. So he's sort of, he's not really a baby. He's sort of a juvenile into an adult. <sighs> this video went a lot quicker than it normally does usually i'm sitting here forever talking but i just wanted to give you guys this quick update video because i know a lot of you've been asking and i figured i make it leave more video ideas down below i do have some ideas in stock i still have to film them and everything but i'm still going to do the mix of baby and reptile video i think my next video i'm going to be cleaning out my fish tank Spoiler alert, it's literally a death trap, and I think I know why, <laughs> and that makes me, like, a really crappy fish keeper, but you guys knew I wasn't the best at fish keeping anyway. Literally, I've had a nightmare with every fish I've had. I don't think I've had one fish that lasted over a couple years. No, I had a fish, Minnow, when I was younger, and my parents got him for me. He literally sat in this little bowl. No, I wasn't little. I'm not gonna lie. It was like a nice size bowl, but it was a bowl like they, he didn't have a heater. We didn't use conditioner. Like before I knew all about this like pet stuff, my mom would literally just clean his bowl out every day with fresh spigot water. And he lasted like six years. And we took him down the shore with us and everything. So like, maybe I'm just trying too hard. <laughs> maybe I need to go buy a fish bowl and use spigot water. For this fish tank, I plan, I don't know what I plan on doing. I wanted to put the little goldfish in there, not like the big eyed ones. Just the Comet ones, I think they're called. They're like the 16 cent fish at PetSmart. But I saw my uncle in his house, he has a big fish tank of them. He throws like 10, uh, a couple, I don't know how many he has in there. It's like 10 to 15, 16 cent fish. And he's he's got this big tank and they just grow. Like they'll grow however big the tank is. So I was gonna put a couple in there, 
but I don't know. I don't want to test my luck with fish, okay? Because I already feel like crap when my animals pass away or like I always tend to blame myself. So I don't want to blame myself anymore <laughs> for the death of my, I don't want to end up having to feel bad that I just brought these fish in as an experiment and a, like trial and error the, the water. So I'm going to be cleaning out the fish tank. I think it's the filter. I think the filter is not cleaned enough because um, I did put a couple fish in there, but it was the 16 cent fish. I put them in there and they, you know, passed away. So there's something wrong. The fish tank is a death trap. So I think I'm gonna have to like boil the filter and put it in and then retest the water. My, I guess I have a crappy testing kit because my testing kit says the water's fine. And then I put the fish in there and the fish like, like they, they just die. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say and I feel bad. So I'm not gonna buy any more fish, okay? <laughs> you can forget about that. Um, I'm gonna like actually take the water and take it to a store this time because I haven't done that yet I haven't sent it to the store to test it out I just figure like you know my testing kits will be reliable but I guess they're not that reliable if they're giving me wrong readings and something else is wrong and I have like the 16 in 1 marine kit like they're telling me everything every ingredient every pH everything nitrate nitrite everything so we're gonna see how that goes and I think when I get the fish tank settled and I know the water for sure is non-toxic. <laughs> I'm going to be putting, I don't know, I might start off with some mystery snails. You guys remember when I first started my channel and I had like baby mystery snails everywhere. That was nuts. I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna make sure if they do end up breeding, I'm gonna properly take care of the egg sac thing. I'm gonna probably freeze it and, and, or give it to someone, I don't know. Or maybe I'll just get one mystery snail. I didn't think that far. But I know I don't really want to put fish in there because I'm just scared. I have like a PTSD from fish tanks because everything's bad is happening with my fish tanks. And I try so hard. Like it's not like I'm just sitting here willy nillying fish, like filling up the tank and then throwing fish in there to experiment to see how it is. Like I'm genuinely trying to keep fish, but it's just not in my blood, I guess. I guess I'm only only for the reptiles. I might just empty the water out and put frogs in there or something. It's like a 20 gallon a um a 20 gallon tall so you guys why don't you leave suggestions down below of what i should put in there next not like i need more pets but i figure since i already have the tag i might as well throw something in there <laughs> and after that i promise i finished <laughs> my dad the other day he was on the phone with me he was like you know you're having a baby right and i'm like yes <laughs> yes i know but listen i work well I work, I'm a very good nurturer, okay? That's one thing I can say about myself. If I don't have the rest of my life together, I have my pets together and my child together. I have his plan, his care. I have everyone's routine in. I got it all figured out. So, but I definitely want an easy pet. So I'm not gonna put something in there that I need like 24 seven surveillance in there. I literally am just probably gonna get like Maybe an easy fish, like a hardy fish, like a fish you cannot kill. A snail, maybe those African dwarf frogs. I have to look, like, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I didn't even look up if they can go in 20 gallons. Or maybe I even, I might just make it a planted tank. If you guys want to see, like, a planted tank, we could see how that goes. Even though I kill all my plants, I literally killed a cactus before. So, <laughs> it just, I don't know what it is with me and plant and fish. That just never works, but... I am going to end up putting something in there, hopefully. So leave comments down below also if you guys know any easy to care for because I'm not looking for another pet that, you know, you know I am having a child. So I'm not going to get another pet that's going to require me to sit here and uh, do a lot of work towards. Right now, it's perfect. I make everyone's food in the morning, make sure they're fine at night. The lights, I have a timer for them. I have to do minimal work, okay? I got to feed them show them attention bathe them that's it so i already got like 10 kids <laughs> but they have scales and fur so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video now it's a lot longer than i thought it was going to be definitely leave your video comments in your video comments your video ideas down below and let me know what you think i should do with this 20 gallon tank and i'll see if i can do that with the next video but i'm definitely gonna clean it out i might do like a cleaning video too for my next video but um yeah so Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.